Well, it's Thursday morning. Uh, we're leaving Malu about 6 a.m. Go over to Lake Cullen and finish some shearing and landmarking today. And these are some leftover bits of wool from uh, Malu shearing, so we'll take them over and they'll put them in a pack. And it's another day in paradise. See ya. Uh, Hey Travis, what? what are what are your thoughts on landmarking? How's it going? It's going pretty good. Pratt's doing a good job. Levi struggles. Um, <laughs> nah, it's going all right. They're good lands. Gwenda, how has the landmarking been for you? It's not very efficient. Very efficient. A couple of Texans on the job. It just makes it all right. Here we are at the Lloyd Cullen shed. The boys are just cranking up after the smogo. All action. These are all penned up, ready to come out. You can see the lamb that's down in the backyard. Always run a bit of wool off. This is the boss man shearer. So the wool comes off the sheep. There's there's little bits of locks and stuff they sweep up off the floor. So our mate's gonna throw a fleece up. They skirt it. Get all the rubbish off it. Any bits and pieces go to there. Then the good ball ends up over there in the press. Family affair. Presser man, <laughs> doing his job again, woo! Got some wool bales over here. There's some bits and pieces, be all pressed up later. This is the brand Lycullen. That one's the Merino pieces. That's the uh, classer, the wool classer. He gets a stencil a number, so they know who's class the wool. And we got a couple of little upcoming rousies here. Cullen shed. Okay, who are you? <laughs> Cranky Courtney. And uh, what are we doing? We're finishing the lamb marking. How many's left? Uh, 200 maybe. So how long should it take us? Uh, two hours. Easy peasy. Hour, two hours, three hours, four. Depends how good Pratt goes. Yeah. Pratt, let's see them big strong muscles. A big strong Texan. Anyways, we're gonna get it going and finish this up so that we're not here all night. All right, we got oh. Boss Man Ian coming. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. He's got Let's the go. He's got the meds and the, got the drugs. Now, now we're really gonna be cooking. Yeah. Now that we got him on the job now we side. We got drugs on the scene. We got drugs on the scene. A uh, crazy lady who loves giving little lambs drugs, passes them out like candy. Have you shown the people this? Uh, this is uh, some fly strike that we're treating. Fast. Just a little bit, so it's better to treat it now before it gets bad. Ain't that right? That's right. We you got that right. the painkiller. Oh yeah. A person. <laughs> I make sure they're free of pain. And then this, um, I actually don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> that is your six in one vaccination for Ah, uh, let me see, COVID, let me see COVID. here, um, for lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gwenda's favorite thing to do is drug the little lambs. Yeah, and, uh, I'm into drugs. She always makes sure they have enough, isn't that right? Yep. Yeah. Better give that them. Yeah. 
So here we have the Rams. They just got shawned or sheared. And uh, now Courtney's put some back line on them for lice. So I think they have about 70 Rams in total and there's about 60 here. And then the others are at Malou. Um, but yeah, we've got probably a hundred lambs left. And then we're done with lamb marking and we're done with shearing. And uh, yeah, we won't have to do anything else with them for a while. I think in about eight weeks time, we're gonna wean the lambs off their mothers. And uh, that'll be pretty easy. Um, tomorrow we're gonna musker some, some sheep or it was last year's lambs at Malou. We're gonna muster them and uh, put some back line on them and then just turn them back out. So that'll be pretty easy. And all the hard stuff's done. Here we have the last lamb of how many? Uh, about a thousand. About a thousand in the last couple of days. So and now we're gonna... Final tally up. Here we go. That's the way, bye. So now we're gonna run them up and back line them, correct? Yep, we gotta back line them. Just to protect them from fly in case we get some really bad, bad wet weather. Hey, we're done for the day. Look, that, that cast it around the yard. Look, all the sheep are gone. Lambs are all gone. There's only two idiots left around yeah, here. Yeah, there's a few <laughs> rams out there. They're out in their paddock. And uh, and these are the, the cradles. We'll take them back to our... We borrowed them off our good old neighbour. And uh, yeah, we're all done. And the Texans were a big help. You know, Curly and... Um, uh, Betty Crocker. <laughs> 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 and uh, I think you should shut that thing down now because I'm no YouTuber. Here we have Travis Pastrana. All right, YouTube, we just got back from Travis's. So uh, we went ahead and ate dinner over there and had a shower. And uh, we got to meet his in laws. And uh, that was good so we just got home and uh just got in the house and i think we're gonna go to bed because we got one more kind of early morning in us tomorrow and uh yeah we just got to get those lambs in and backline them for lice and then we'll be done for the day i think so this is the end of the video we'll keep making more hope you liked it if not oh well and uh see you next time